Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Part 6, I do believe. We're in Part 6, and we're standing around here in the Undercity. So, uh, not Undercity, what am I talking about? We're in the Lower City. So we're going to check out what's up, and we're going to go into Javier's Cantina. Okay, let's see what kind of people we have in here. I'm going to uh, start picking things up a little bit quicker. So we're going to start doing things like progression wise slightly faster Go away. hey you not talk you like that we just want to say hi big bad bounty hunter Kalo Nord I hate this guy I fucking hate Kalo Nord so irritating we'll find out why later nah this can't be Kalo Nord he's supposed to be tough this guy's nothing but a runt careful Mr. Twi'lek one one what that mean? You be funny, tough guy? You know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the Black Volker gang. You don't want to get any funny with us, tough guy. Two. Uh-oh. Me no understand. One, two? Why he count? You trying to count how many of us against him? It's three against one, Kala. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Three. Uh-oh. What's that? Huh. Well, it's not that hard to kill thugs. Kala. Go away. Go away. But... One. Oh. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, I'll got it. I'll leave you alone. Smart. Fuck you, Kalo. You look like you look so stupid. You look so dumb. Hate fucking Kalo Nord. Anyways, since I've uh oh here's Holden. Let's go check out what this guy's up to. Huh? What? Oh sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the twee like dancers. I know what you mean. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences oh, with my own species head tails. lately. Maybe it's time oh. to change. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Uh, mm. you're the bounty who, uh, you're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a mm. knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. Oh, well, if you drop, you know. Cut me. Cut ya. Uh, so how do I collect this bounty? I don't really care because uh, I don't care about people in this Just game. Just kill Dia and then go talk to Zax. I gave him the credits for safekeeping. Zax. He'll pay you off when the deed is done. Okay, I will go do that then. Um, I'll be going now. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. You know, there's... One move set that they have is pretty sweet. Don't bother me while I'm working. I got paid to dance, not talk. I don't know, man. I could probably pay. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? Looks like a Twi'lek. An Erodian. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Oh, 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 oh. Little girl should not be in a bar. There's no place for a little girl. If little girl was smart, she'd run away from home. Run, run away home now, not from home. You're speaking alien. I don't care. I don't understand. Little girl needs lesson in manners. Why do they have like broken English? Solbar, a little help here. I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Hey, man. Don't mess with the Wookiee Quit eating food. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over She's here. called that Wookiee fat. Want no trouble with Wookiee. Our problem with you, little girl. <laughs> we have issues with you, like, teenage Twi'lek. <laughs> you got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Shh. 
Little girl lucky as she has big friend. Oh. Okay. So What was that all about? Hi guys. Can I pet your Wookie? Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Cool. Hey, we speak the same language. That's weird. It's weird like who speaks galactic basic. No, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terrace, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulkers, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Uh, why did a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up... Yeah. We just kind of fell in Street together. urchin? That's yeah, kind of insulting. Here in the lower city. Good. There's Everyone's that charm there, Zeril. Good job. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zabar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. That and the Wookiee can't, like, fucking talk. Do, do any Wookiees speak basic? I don't think any... Well, I don't really know of any that do. Check, uh, look up on the Wikipedia. Might be there. Uh, let's ask her some questions. Well... You came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Uh, tell me about the gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Bolters and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are Beck led base. by Gadden Thek. He's a good guy. Thek. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor <laughs> Brezhnev. Gang leader. Before I'm he blind. took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. How the fuck would you do gang raids with a blind, like, gang leader? Like, let's go, guys, and start shooting at walls and stuff. That sounds terrible. Why did Brezhnev leave the hidden backs? When Gadden went blind, Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the Dude, face of Dude, impatient? This gang Your leader's war fucking blind. It's totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones Seeing doing everything Wookie. that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. I don't really care. I'm gonna go now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's Big go. Z. But I haven't finished eating. Let the wiki eat. Can't you think about something? Take the fucking your elephant. Five minutes. Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Go watch Dark Man. That's you'll know where take the fucking elephant comes from. Okay, uh, I think that's all we can do in here right now. That's interesting. I'm going to talk to Zax though, because I have a bounty, if you recall from the last episode. I've not seen you here before, human. You're new to bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Oh, huts. Boys are awesome. Are you looking for work? There, may, there are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise. But they all pay quite well. Sounds good to me, man. Killing for money. Best living. Wow. In a galaxy far, far away, at least. In this one, it's kind of frowned upon to shoot someone for like a thousand bucks. Don't do it. Because I said so. Why are you here for information? Everyone knows Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. Okay. Gurney said I should speak to you about the Rakul soon. It's worth a thousand credits to Davik. Hmm. I best uh, be finding that then, because that seems rather handy for us. Uh, I don't have the serum. You find the serum, you come see me. Davik wants the serum, and I'll pay good money for to get it for him. The same price as for other bounties. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through his thing once I read it. Uh, I've got bounties I want to collect. A bounty? Well, human, that's what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Tell him about Largo. 
Largo should have known better than to run. Maybe now people will learn the lesson. You owe Davik money, you pay. I don't want to skip through um, text too much because there's a glitch in this game. If you do it too much, it gets stuck and it like hammers through text whenever you talk to people. It's it sucks. I hate it. I don't know why it does that. 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. I want 400 for this job. So, ha! I persuaded a hut. What are the odds? I'm awesome. Brave bargain. Brave to bargain, human. Okay, 400. Nice. Do good work. There's lots of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep ca cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. So I clip my audio by going, ah, oh, so loud. Whatever. Yes, Mr. Hutt. That'd be wicked to work for a guy whose last name was Hutt. That'd be fucking kick ass. Thank you, Mr. Hutt. Goodbye, human. You come back if you want to earn credits. Bounties, pay good money, and remember, come see me if you want information. Okay. So we get 400 credits and 105 XP points. Speaking of which, what do we add? Almost at 6,000. Okay, so I think that's all we're going to do in this place. Yeah, let's get out of here. These guys maybe we'll talk to later, but they're not of utmost importance. Let's check what's down this hall. Hidden back. That's one of those uh, gang leaders, isn't it? What's going on in here? Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know hidden you're not a vulgar spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? <laughs> because, can he see me? I'm no... Uh, I need Gadon's help. I was told to speak with him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. What a terrible voice. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and Gun the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon Sith. has more enemies than he ah. used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Oh, well. Maybe I can ally against those enemies. Well, we do need all the help <laughs> we can get. That's all the persuasion she needs. Like That's a terrible Vulcan's gate guard. Officer. Uh, I Besides, need help. It's not like you can do anything uh, maybe to harm I can help you. the heart of his own base. Not with Zerg okay, on in. his back. So, you're going to let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden You can't tell me what to do. Watching you. Yeah, she sounds weird. Into the back base. So this is one of the gangs that uh control quote unquote the lower city. So let's let's check what's up with these. These fellows down here, Zadra, and there's Gadden. Hold it right oh. there. Who are you, and what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zadra. Nobody's I'm going to try anything here in the death. middle of our own base. It would be a suicide oh, mission. Three. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulcans are. want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zadra? <laughs> Not in your case, do? Gadden. I will never let it Attacked and no one on site. No, Attacked and no one on site. Pass. Good job, As Sam. You, you can speak to Gadden Fuck. if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized no, doesn't have his eyes on me. Gadden. Oh, oh. oh, I'm heartless. Hi, Gadden. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Just not how to look. Ah. How can I help you? Now, uh, I need information on those escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city. Stevie about Wonder. Well. No. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Yeah. Calm down, Zedra. Fuck off, Zedra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose not I yet. could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang, but it might cause problems for the Vulcans, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans <laughs> stripped those pods that's clean within okay hours after they landed. Book. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic oh. officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, <coughs> but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prison. So they have Bastila. Bastila's a slave. I have to get in there and rescue her. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. 
They still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. Swoop race, race eh? You'll never find her. Just like American graffiti. Swoop race? What does that have to do with her? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Basila then? Well, we can't fight all Why the gangs. Why not, Karth? The only hope you have of rescuing Basila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Oh, okay. Gan, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. Sound, but uh, first, you have to fine. do something for me. God, I was gonna say sounds good, My but mechanics no. have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan Man, to this guy's long-winded. victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Okay. Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission. Hey, Bale. that's that tweet. Mission. Gaden, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. Oh, we have to find that Twi'lek. Where can I find her? Because she just left that cantina. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms. It's pretty swanky. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city car. Fine, shoot me but down the right now, then, down here is much tougher. Jerk. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Lovely. Since we're working together now, I suppose together I could give now. them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Okay. Sounds good. Here's the papers good for the uniforms. Choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers uh, anyway. Now, is there anything else I nope, can do? Nope, I am good. I'll be back once I get the I accelerator. You hurry. <laughs> Sorry. The swoop race Excuse is me. coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Okay, guys. So, now we have to find mission, find the swoop race accelerator, get the bounties, and get that Rakul serum. So when we come back, we're going to try to do as many of those as we can. Stay tuned.